this here is my driving position in my race car. Uh, it's very much lying down, you know, which you can't really imagine from outside, but that's the way it is. Uh, the feet even go upwards, as you can see, because the cockpit goes up, so the pedals are up there. Uh, it looks strange, but it feels quite normal, and, and it's not a problem. It really feels dynamic, aggressive, you know, it's not like you're sleeping in there, it's fine. Uh, the compromise is a little bit uh, that you need to be as low as possible, you know, to get the center of gravity in the car down. Uh, and then it's always difficult sometimes to see where you're going because you're sitting so low in the car. So very often I even have to lean upwards a little bit with my head to see the corner or something, depending on uh, where I am on the track. Um, then also the making of the seat is a really difficult process because the carbon is, is really in the shape of your body. Um, and then obviously if you're sitting in the garage and making the seat or driving out on track where you're dynamically driving, changing position, it's a completely different feeling. So all of a sudden things will be hurting and, and I say, okay, I need more support here um, and more support on the ribs. But it's difficult to do more support because the carbon is so hard. So very often you have to put a little bit of bits of foam everywhere. Um, but at the same time, you don't want to put too much foam because foam is very heavy and you want to keep the seat as light as possible. So that's an ongoing process, you know, it's very difficult to find the, the optimum. Now I'm going to take my steering wheel as well, just to show you, show you how the position is with the steering wheel. It's about here, um, and it's also a very, very small area, like I'm looking just above the steering wheel. At the same time, I can't drop the steering wheel down either, because then I can't steer anymore, because my hands go into the top of my legs. Uh, so it's a really small area where the steering wheel is. Um, then also there's the display right here, which is just below where I look to see where I'm going and there I see all my RPM, my shift, uh, my, my gear and, uh, and also my lap time. So there's various important things on the display.